hello guys and welcome back again to my youtube channel it's your girl faith martins guys today i'm going to be taking you to a traditional nigerian market because i want to make a traditional nigerian dish so basically this dish i'm about making is um originates from the south southern part of nigeria we're talking about aqua Ibom and cross river states majorly it is eaten by almost every Nigerian, aside those from the Fulani northern region. The Yorubas eat this, the Igbos eat this, the every other person eats aside those from the northern region. Come with me, guys, to a traditional Nigerian market. Guys, if today is your first time coming across any of my videos on YouTube, you are absolutely welcome. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel guys and share this video like five minutes ago it's so crazy in lagos market all you all to make um um cook videos vlogs you guys thumbs up to you guys i almost got mobbed right now i'm filming okay right now i'm using my camera but every other clip after this will be with my phone because i need to be safe to keep making videos for everyone on my channel if up until this stage you've not subscribed to my youtube channel guys feel free to click the subscribe button and subscribe to my channel and like this video guys it's at this point i got to a shop that i almost got scammed look closely into this video and see how he allowed my periwinkle spill back into the water immediately i noticed that i raised an alarm and then left their store the mom begged every other person was begging but i hate injustice i hate feeling cheated and I, I can never cheat anyone, so I hate the feeling of being cheated. So I found this other young girl at the other side of the market, and I got periwinkles from her, and off I went. Guys, I'm home. I'm so sorry, like, I was so stressed from the market. I was unable to continue my vlog, but I want to show you guys something. So I got this goat's meat. Um, let me focus on this. Come on, focus now. I don't know how to set you to focus. Okay, I bought this goat's meat at the market, but see, can you see the milk? 
Wow, I wish I can taste it. Can I taste raw goat's milk? Let me taste it. Experiment. Mmm. Yummy. Oh, where is this milk? Mmm. This is raw goat's milk. Like, this is a goat breast. It tastes cool, anyways. This is one of the benefits of living on the motherland you get to eat your meat fresh your vegetables fresh so i'm gonna be showing you guys how i'll be making the cross river states and aquai bomb states traditional soup which is afang guys the first thing is to ensure your protein either goat meat fish chicken turkey cow meat whatever kind of protein you're using is thoroughly washed and cleaned you put them in a pot with low heat when it's heating up you then add your spice i love to use ghana pepper or rather they call it cameroon pepper in nigeria it's the black pepper i love to use the black pepper when making soups and then my seasoning cubes um you know when you're making vegetables you might need more than the regular amount of seasoning cubes so uh, first of all you, you season your protein and then you cover with salt seasoning cubes you all know i don't do more of all of these cook videos so this is like my first first ever kind of voiceover cook video you then cover your pot for it to cook for about this meat actually cooked for maybe 30 more than 30 minutes in fact so guys i kept checking the meat adding little water little by little and at this point i realized my meat was tender enough although not tender enough to be eaten but tender enough to start the full process of making my afang soup so i added a palm oil palm oil is what we call red oil in nigeria we use it for most of our soups well for those from the south southern part of nigeria we use it for most of our soups and then after palm oil i added the water leaf I've forgotten the traditional name for this water leaf it's basically a leaf that has so much water in it that's why you advise when you're cooking you ensure that the stock in your meat or your broth is very little remaining in the pot because this this um vegetable brings lots of water into your pot and the afang soup is a soup that doesn't need water it's a soup that you do not need water in cooking it you only need little meat stock or your chicken broth in the pot to cook it so i had to stir to ensure it's evenly spread around the pot and mix with the meat and then i covered for another 25 minutes guys at this stage my stock i mean my soup had started to boil i had to put a little on my tongue on my palm to taste to ensure the ingredients are in order and then when i realized you know with vegetable like i said earlier you need more than regular seasoning cubes so i had to add a little bit more seasoning cubes into my into my soup guys after adding the seasoning the next thing i did was to add half of the amount periwinkles which they call isam in cross river state and um aquaibom state i had to add a bit of the isam into my pot if you notice i started using um wooden bamboo spoon you call it either wooden or bamboo spoon at this stage the only sp kind of um spoon i'm comfortable using while cooking soup is a bamboo spoon and at the beginning of this video I forgot I had a bamboo spoon in my kitchen so I think bamboo spoon gives it a very different flavor if I'm wrong leave a comment in the comment section telling me it doesn't add to the flavor guys one thing you would notice about my cooking especially in this soup is my consistency in stirring you definitely won't have won't want to have a soup with a bottom burnt so at this stage, I added my afang leaf. It is called the okazi leaf in Igbo land. 
It's called the Afang leaf in Cross River or Aquaibom. This Afang is the last vegetable to be added. It's usually grinded, grinded at the market or grinded with your processor. Usually you add crayfish while grinding the Afang leaf. So I add I added the afang leaf and had to stir generously to ensure it gets to every part of the soup. And after a while, I turned the, lid, the heat low, added the little water and allowed it to cook. I almost forgot to add my afang leaf while my soup was boiling or the water from the water leaf. Added a little water and allowed it to cook. Guys, at this final stage, I had to add the last set of my periwinkle. Usually, if you want to add all of your very periwinkles at the last stage, feel free to add all of them at the last stage. If you want to add them in the middle, whichever way, but do not add them at the beginning of your soup because periwinkles are really, really soft and might disappear at the end of your cooking. I added the last um, set of periwinkles, tasted my soup. With low heat, I kept stirring ensuring every other ingredient is evenly into the soup and then I tasted my soup again and again and again and I had to cover my pot to cook for about I think three to five minutes that's the last covering of my pot and after that was done I turned off the heat allowed it to settle for about five minutes and I had to serve my food guys I don't want you guys to get hungry Watching me eat my delicious afang soup, so I didn't make videos of the um, serving or pictures of the soup while I was eating. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did recording it. Guys, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my videos, and share my videos. I do hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!